What is going on guys and gals? Brooklyn Bound the Raid Scientist here and today I want to bring you a quick guide on how to finish the Deep Stone Crypt Triumph Short Circuit. This triumph is required to achieve the Deep Stone Crypt Raid title Descendant and it's available already and not really that complicated. So let's jump into it. First, I am going to assume you understand the mechanics of how to do this encounter already. If you need to learn how to do the fight in its entirety, check out my full guide video linked in the description and fast forward to the timestamp on Tanix Reborn. This triumph is performed in the third encounter where you are depositing the orbs on the crashing space station. It states that you must confront Tanix while allowing only one player from your fire team to deposit nuclear cores. So, to complete this, you will designate a single player to be responsible for depositing all of the cores into the bins for the entire encounter. Meaning, this is the only player throughout the whole fight that can deposit them. You should put this player on the scanner team, since they need to stay centrally located. However, if you don't pre-assign roles in this manner, then you could in theory just have them never have an augment either, as long as you continuously rotate the deactivated augment across the other five players. You definitely don't want them to be responsible for operator or suppressor ever, as this will put them out of position to carry out their task. In any way, once the nuclear bombs spawn, two players will pick them up and carry them towards the chest as normal. Once Tanix has been stunned, the designated core depositing player will grab a core from the first player and deposit it, then run over to the other player, take their core from them as well and deposit it. It's best to have these orb carriers have a backup player to take it from them in case their radiation gets too high before the designated depositor can get to it. When performing this, it's best to have the designated depositing player only hold the orbs for a fairly short time, because if they have to carry them a longer distance, their radiation could start stacking up too high. This is why it's best to have the other players relay them to the middle area, or even near the chest they need to go into, and then have the depositing player simply take it off their hands and then dunk it immediately. Repeat this for all six rounds, having the same player deposit all the nuclear cores until you finish. Note that if your depositing player does for some reason get a really high radiation count, you can just have them suicide or die holding the orb to reset their radiation back to zero. Just make sure they retake the core back and deposit it themselves. That's really all there is to it. It's a pretty fun triumph to do, and I really enjoy this raid encounter. Good luck on getting this one done, and please drop a comment below if you found this video helpful, or if you have any questions on this triumph, I'd be happy to answer. And as always, like, sub, and share to help support the channel, and I'll see you next time, Guardians. Until then, best of luck.